Well, hi there, food friends. It's Kevin. Hi, Kevin, and I'm Ralph behind the camera. And we are here at the cottage in dog days of summer, but loving every minute of it because we have our friends with us, the Stellmans. Hey! Hi, hi. hi. Hello. So we're going to have a cookout, um, but what we're also doing is we're getting into high harvest season here in Michigan, and we've got a beautiful Michigan cauliflower here, and so we're going to make Get this, Ralph, a cauliflower custard. Ooh la la. Ooh la la is right. That sounds so, good. What, what we've got here, the, the first part is the easy part, guys. So I've got a head of cauliflower, and I've got some water in the pot. I'm going to put a little salt, right, because we always like to season things. And I'm going to put the lid on it, and we're going to put it on the stove. And we're going to let this come to a boil and let the cauliflower cook for about 10 minutes. And you notice there wasn't a lot of water in that pot. It was no. just a, 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 about a half. Yeah, you don't, you know, you don't want it, you don't want to waterlog the cauliflower. You, want it you need a lot of steam in there and a lot of heat because okay. cauliflower is very hard and you want it to soften up, okay? So far I could do this, just steam yes, and could. salt. So do you guys think this is easy enough so far? Yeah, so, so far. far Sounds so good. Easy. And so then, far. And then the re what we're going to do is we're going to make our custard in these little cups which as you know are called custard cups okay so that's what we're going to do and like all custards and we've done a number of different custards or custard type things on cavalcade in the past is the key to any custard is milk and eggs and in this case we're using evaporated milk and i've got a couple of eggs out here i have a tablespoon of melted butter salt and pepper so okay. eggs make it custard eggs and milk eggs and milk okay that's those are the two things you need and then you've got a little uh casserole Th this is we're going dish. to bake it the french in the french style comes we're going to bake this in a water bath so once we make our custard we'll fill these custard cups then we're going to put hot water in here and cook it in a 350 degree oven, okay? So Erin and Jeff's daughter, Leah, just got back from France, so yes, she can she give did. us some pointers Maybe on she that. Maybe can, she can help us at least do it in a way in which is consistent with our, our very bad French language that you and I try. Yeah, our fumble French. Yes, our fumble French. So anyways, we're going to um, get this cooking, and we're going to be back and put it all together. All right, so we are back. So, um, uh, the cauliflower's been steaming for... So we smell. Yes, yes. yes. The house definitely <laughs> smells like a cauliflower. Jeff, if you would drain that in the sink and run some hot water over the cauliflower, cold water over the cauliflower. Now, you got it. okay, thank you, sir. Now, ladies, we got to do two things. One, um, we want to grease all of our custard cups and have them ready. So I've got some nonstick spray. Okay. So if somebody could give each one a little spray, then Leah, maybe you could help with this. Let's start putting our custard together. So lightly beat these eggs, okay? So just kind of give them a little zhuzh with the fork. You just want to break the yolk and uh, into the into the whites a little bit. A little bit more. Zhuzh them more. Yeah, zhuzh them more. Is that a there French word? <laughs> So we found out uh, the name of the um, water bath in French is, Technique. what is it? That's great. Uh, Bain-Marie. Bain-Marie. B-A-N is for bath, but it's pronounced B-A-I-N. B-A-I-N. Okay. B-A-I-N. B-A-I-N. How do you say it? B-A-I-N. Marie. And, and Marie. so what, if you, what does that translate to? Mary's bath. Mary's bath. Okay. And she was an alchemist, apparently, who did uh, the water bath originally. Really? In her alchemy. Okay. Um, How's our cauliflower? Would you, Jeff? Would you put our put the cauliflower on this cutting board? How's that zhuzhin going? On? That looks great, actually. Go ahead and put that in this big bowl. And then, Erin, uh, would you open that evap? We have a 12 ounce can of evaporated milk. That's what we're go. using. Thank you, sir. 12 ounce can of evaporated, evaporated milk. milk, and pour that whole thing in with the eggs. I just learned that if you add equal parts of water to this product, that you will have whole milk. That's really? absolutely camping. right. Interesting. You pour it right in here? Yes. Okay. And then here is, if you put the butter in, and then we want to put in a, um, oh, a, a good pinch of um, salt and pepper, please. 
I really love cauliflower and broccoli and things like that, but it makes me wonder if, because of the, the strong smell, if they named it cauliflower to kind of fool people into eating it, you know, give it a more fragrant name. I don't, you know what, it's prob there's probably a name behind it. Okay, we've got, did you put in the salt yep. and the pepper? Yep. Let's whisk all that together, please. All right. Now, it's really tender. It's, um, yes. you would probably not want to cook it that much if you were eating it just by itself. No, it might, might you know, some people yeah. like their, some, like pe like some people yeah. like their veggies really soft. But because um, we're mashing it. We are just going to, we want to chop it finely. Okay. But you're right, Aaron. If we were going to do this as like a cauliflower side with some right. cheese sauce, we would yeah. keep it a little more right. al dente. Right. So, yeah, and you know, this is just from steaming it for, you know, those 10 minutes. Wow. So, we're just going to make. Oh, boy, it really okay. reduces kind of uh, finely when you chop it because it is so soft. Yeah, I actually wonder if we're going to be able to <laughs> get all. I'm looking at those six little cups and thinking, how is this going to work? Well, Plus, it looks oh, like it wants small. to fall. It looks like it wants to jump right off the table. There's so much. You have uh, enough room? Okay. So, now what I'm going to do is let's start putting the cauliflower. No, I'm going to use it. In our custard. Wow. You know and what I you like can is start stirring that around. These look like easy steps so far. Whoop. Jeff, I'm gonna give this to you. If you'd put that in the sink, please. Okay. I said these look like easy steps. They are so easy far. steps. They really are. I'm going to um, get a. Oops. I spilled. Well, that's okay. No worries. I'm gonna get this and then. Just, just smash it in, Leah. It's good for the carpet. Yeah, you know what? We we've had so many spills on this ro this this rug. It's it's no big deal. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is maybe Aaron. I'm gonna have you and Leah do this. Okay. Um, one of you hold the cup and one of you fill it, and only fill it to about. See where that top groove is? Yeah, okay. okay. Up to there. Is it going to expand while cooking? It will. It, rise? it may rise a little bit okay. because of the eggs. Okay. So. That's what I was thinking with the eggs, it'll rise. Yeah. So we grease each of these cups. Yeah, that's now we're perfect. Putting in the right mixture there. And then in there. And then, we're, I'm sorry, so we, we grease the cups and then we're putting in with our this. cauliflower with a nonstick spray. And then we're going to, we're putting in our mixture again. Remember, it was eggs and milk and salt and pepper and butter and cauliflower. So is the water already in, the, in this? Not bath yet. We're going to put, oh, when you're working with a water bath, always put your, your cups in first, just like they're doing, and then put the hot water in. Is that water hot already Yes. Now? So okay. I, I, the water um, I brought to a boil on the tea kettle. And Leah Oops, knows from experience hot. that you don't want that water to be room temperature. You want it to be actually warmer, right Leah? Yes. Yeah, it'll change the consistency of what you're baking. Great. And so we're going to just keep doing this and then we've got one more. Doing a great job, you guys. I'm can't, excited to try this. Yeah, it's can't great. can't wait. It looks yummy already. So we're gonna. Um, we have a little left over. Do you want me to? I can get one of those cups and. Yeah, maybe. And Let's put it see. In another little water bath. Or top off. Okay. Here, you know what I'm gonna do, Leah? So I'm gonna see if you can just get a little of the the actual liquid out of there. That's it. Yes. This is, it's not always, you, you have to, it's not always a perfect match, that's it, with your cauliflower and your, your liquid ratio. Okay, Jeff, if you'd get the tea kettle, please, and what I'm going to ask you to do is gently put the hot water in here. We want to go about halfway up the custard cups, okay? I know everything's sort of clear, so it's hard to see. There you go. Great. Keep going. By the way, we're listening to music of Toots no, no, Tielemans. Perfect. We've been, in a harmonica, we've been in a harmonica mood lately, yeah. so we're listening to Toots Tielemans, who's from Belgium, and Larry Adler, I believe is American, but they play a really fine harmonica, very chromatic, beautiful harmonica. We just love that cover yeah, with, <laughs> with dog. that doggy. It says, Time Out for Toots. Okay, Jeff, if you would be so kind as to open the oven, we're going to slide this in carefully so the water doesn't splash. And...
we are in for about 35 to 40 minutes at, and at 350 degrees so we'll be back with our cauliflower okay. cake so ladies uh, it's been 40 minutes smells good in here doesn't it and I'm gonna carefully because remember oh gosh, we got how pretty we got a water bath so they kind of um, this is the scariest part right they kind of blossomed Wow they look really pretty and it, they smell so good uh, I feel like cauliflower, which like I did. Yeah. Little exactly. So now, do they have to set for a bit? They do have to set up. I'm gonna. Uh, Don't you have to like test them with a toothpick or something? Well, I did actually. Um, and for, here's what you want to do. You don't want to see any movement. They're not jiggly. See how they're, see how they're set up. You can't see a move. Right. That's what you want. You want them firm like that. You okay. don't want them jiggling like the first opening scene of Baywatch or anything like right. that. Right. So, <laughs> so, no extra charge for the jokes. I used that one before. If anybody's watched our show before, they know. I'm, you have I'm big on my like corny jokes. Like yes, thank you. Um, so, I hope you still be our friends. Um, <laughs> but I just carefully take them out, and then you know what? They're probably it's probably going to be really hot right now. Let's so, see how firm it is. Yes, exactly. That's what you want. Yeah. We're going really to want to eat it. Um, you can turn that fan on and let it cool off. Yeah, we, we will. We're going to turn all the fans on and we're going to let these cool off for a couple minutes and then we'll come back for a taste test. Careful. Don't burn yourself. I think you might need to edit some of this. Wait, you got to no, no, no. really hot. Wait, Aaron, put it under the fan. Oh, turn that fan on, Kev. There we go. Now... Put the spoon in front of the fan and let it cool it's it off. It's going to blow all over. <laughs> when the cauliflower hits we'll the have fan. We'll have <laughs> When the cauliflower hits the fan. They look like they're praying to the god of the cauliflower. i got to follow it. This is like an exercise. Good? Is it good? It's not too I know nice. it's really it's hot. Delicious. This is so good, you guys. It's a good you're vegetarian like treat. Easy way to really enjoy Well, there you have it, okay? I want to keep eating it now. Mm. So, a new way, a different way to use cauliflower. Um, I think they're beautiful, sort of in their little individual cups. A cauliflower custard. So, you know what? When you're out at the farmer's market and you see cauliflower and you think, eh, you know, maybe... What uh, can you do with what this? What can you do with it? The same old thing. Here's a nice variation that you can make. And really, how simple was it to that put was together? That really easy. Um, I can do that. You know, some evaporated milk, a couple of eggs, salt and pepper, butter. It's all I good. I think this would taste good with a little hot sauce on it. Oh, yes? Yeah. Great Ooh, idea. Great idea. So you, you can spice it up so this, a little bit. This would be a good side, like with a, a nice meat dish, or you could have it like instead of potatoes. And it, it, right. It yeah. is like a potato. Yeah. Yeah. So, wonderful. Thank you guys you. so much thank for, you for, for being on uh, and for taking part and thank you for thank you. Uh, uh, being with us on this version. Ralph. Yes, Ralph. I want to just uh, also thank Jeff for grilling our burgers <laughs> out there. Hey, Jeff. Hey. <laughs> All Jeff's right. on grill duty, so He's we're gonna we're gonna get this eating. This has been the Stillman episode of absolutely the Stillman family episode of Cavalcade of Food. So make make good friends. And make good food. good food and have yourself and great a wonderful times. time absolutely okay we'll see you next time here on cavalcade of food thank you so much bye everybody